Okay guys, take a look at a ton of brand new games, including this photorealistic action shooter that looks like it's out of Deuce X and Cyberpunk. Check it out. Oh, sir. She's here. She's somewhere in this sector. But I had to discover what lay beyond. I had to see it with my own eyes. Who are you? I'm here to help you. My name is Nolan. I'm a special investigator. I work with your father. Help me. We gotta go. Now. I never asked for your help. Why are you risking everything for me? I'm not gonna let them hurt you, Madeline. This city needs someone like you. I never asked for any of this. We'll find a way. I hope you're right. I am doing whatever is necessary to keep you safe. Next up, take a special look at the absolutely brutal action FPS game Defect, which looks like the Judge Drake game, and take a look at the gameplay right after this trailer. Kill us. We're like crabs in a barrel, fighting to get to the top, pulled down by everyone else, by justice that only knows how to place its boot on your neck. By outlaws that couldn't care less if you lived or died. You want another way to survive? You fight. Fight like a starving dog. I kneel. Next up, take a look at Replaced, an absolutely beautiful and pixel art game, which as you play as an AI that tries to survive in a massive cyberpunk world where everyone just wants AI to be gone. One of the most prominent features of Replaced is the camera, which is purposely directed from the beginning of the game to its credit roll. The combat system of Replaced is all about countering and reaction, inspired by the Batman Arkham series, we're aiming to make it satisfying and impactful, as well as accessible to players of any skill level thanks to our multiple difficulty settings. And just like you have seen in the trailers, animated handgun executions as well as an intentful camera direction are all part of gameplay. At certain points in the story, you will be set free to explore an open-ended location, which evolves with different new side quests, new hidden items, and new characters to interact with. It will also be changing visually with each new visit as the game takes place on a brink of seasons.
there is a diverse set of characters to talk to, whether we want to push the story forward or get to know more about their past as well as the world of the game. All the important story events are fully animated, with real acting sessions behind each and every one of them. You will encounter a lot of collectible pieces of lore as well as music and pictures on your journey, which are stored on the Wingman, a device you may have seen in the second trailer for the game. This is where you collect everything you have scanned during your time at Phoenix City and its outskirts. It's not a game, Mom! It's my leg! Next up, take a look at Anger, which is coming from the creators of L Let Loose, the World War II game. And this game is like a unshowdown game, but in Europe, and I'm absolutely loving the look of it. The last, much the easiest to bestow. that before the bacterium emptied the towns and cities. Before the herds were driven into the water and houses burned so hot that the stone melted. Before the old order died. find out. Next up, take a look at The Bornless, a really unique game that I've been covering for so long now and it's finally coming soon and this is an FPS game with really weird Cthulhu lore and just weird creatures to fight and other players.
Next up, take a look at Auto Body. Do not be deceived by the graphics of this game. It looks really, really special. Take a look. I need to tell you something. You're thinking about it too, aren't you? Would it really be that bad? <laughs> She's still out there, Tax. Somewhere. Scared and alone. Or the dying here. We're burying fucking bodies, man. People! They don't deserve to end like this. I guess I'll see you after. Hey, we're doing this on our terms. Not this. alive. Next up, take a look at Mouse PI for Ire. Every single gameplay Twitter that these developers are sharing from this game looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for the full experience when it releases. Next up, take a look at Blight Survival, one of my most anticipated games there is at the moment just for the simple fact that it's a medieval game and there is zombies and infected and every single update that these developers are releasing on Blight looks absolutely crazy. The monsters, the different enemies and different locations that will be in this game, it's looking really special. Get off him. What, you think he's got blight? Sometimes it's hard as a spy, yeah? Gets in your veins first. Clogs up your brain. Get infected before you know it. He's dead. Poor bastard reeks. Probably dead for days. You're new to this. It only gets worse after they're dead. Yeah, makes you almost sorry for him. My ass doesn't feel too sorry. Keep looking.
My name is Taylor Fox. I am a journalist. Farmer Peter Sherman contacted me. He told me about terrifying unexplained phenomena happening on his farm. Here, a weird action or a game where you are abducted by aliens. Although we agreed to meet, no one was home. From a note, I understood that the farmer's daughter Megan disappeared. His wife Susan started behaving strangely, as if someone was controlling her like a puppet. All the animals on the farm were sick, infected with some parasite. I found out that there was a secret military complex near the farm that nobody knew about. The military was monitoring the Sherman family. Something terrible happened here 30 years ago, after which a series of inexplicable events began. Now, I feel like someone is watching me. gotten myself into. War, famine, destruction, death. The year is 20XX. Welcome to the future. The Forever Winter is a four-player sci-fi tactical survival horror shooter that takes place in a future where massive armies are skinning the bones of our once beautiful Earth. You are a scavenger, lovingly referred to as a scav. Within this combat ecosystem, you assume the role of looter and survivor. Trapped between two warring military factions of the future, each with their own objectives. Outgunned, undersupplied, and constantly under attack, you must rely on cooperation and cunning to survive even minor enemy contact. Situational awareness is key in this world. Stop, look, and listen. Trigger discipline will save your life. A target missed is a bullet wasted, and not every battle is one worth fighting. Only kill what you can loot and get away with. Every time you open fire, you are ringing the dinner bell. Make it worth it. Welcome home, deep down in the guts of the city. Refugees seek shelter here, and they choose your level because you have one of the few things that matter. Water. H2O brings traders, shops, and allied mercenaries that have your six. If you want to survive, you'll need to pick up jobs from the two warring factions. Be smart about the jobs you take. The more a faction controls a sector, the more heavy units they will deploy, and the more dangerous it becomes. The more jobs you do, the more jobs you'll get. And the longer you'll keep everyone alive. No one gets by in this world all on their own. So don't be afraid to help others when you can. Donation stations are made available where high-level vets can share gear with low-level baby scavs. You were in their shoes once, too. Here you can customize your rig, an innovative modular platform that grants you advanced abilities. Pneumatic jump allows you to quickly traverse rough terrain and reach hard-to-get drops. Turrets allow you to shred, at least for a short time. And scanners allow you to scout ahead to plan your route. You want guns? You've got them. Modify and upgrade your firearms for the jobs you take. Always remember, the more gear and ammo you bring in, the less you can carry out. So spec accordingly. Once you're kitted up, it's time to enter the macro city of Lost Angels. Megastructures meant to house millions lie vacant, while automated underground factories churn out war machines by the minute. As the war rages and destroys the world by day, AI-driven machines nicknamed the Night Shift rebuild by night. Recovery units stalk the streets, dragging the wounded and the dead to be harvested for their organs. Learn your surroundings, avoid patrols, and maybe you can make it out alive.
Next up, take a look at parkour. I don't have anything to say about this, just take a look. I think you can judge for yourself. Thank you.